Welcome to my wash day. If you're new here, I am April Sunny. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And today, I'd like to give a big thanks to Amore Beauty for sending me products to review. This product line claims that it can restore damaged follicles, promote hair growth, which we all want, add shine and softness, so you know I am excited about that. Coming back from damage and chemical dryness, Ma'am, I need some of this ASAP. It says it's for all hair types. Straight, curly, coily, wavy, you name it. This product line claims that it can help you. So I am excited to see what this hair product can do for my damaged, chemically treated hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair into four sections, detangle, and I'll meet you in the shower. I'm gonna start off with a quick rinse of warm water just to thoroughly wet my hair. Okay, moving on to the shampoo. As you can see, it gives a really, really good lather and it does smell like oranges. At least it smells like oranges to me. But anyway, this is a vegan product line. It's silicone free, DM, DM free, sulfate free, cruelty free, and so much more. I know from my skincare video, um, someone messaged me about DM, DM products and how it affects our skin. So this being DM, DM free was a bonus. Moving on to their conditioner, I just glob a lot in my hand because I love conditioner. This has the exact same smell. It smells like oranges. It had a decent amount of slip. It actually felt like lotion in my hand. Anyway, once I'm done conditioning that section, I'll clip it away and move on to the back section and do the exact same thing. Rinse, shampoo, and condition. One thing I noticed about the shampoo is not only it lathers well, but um, without it having any silicones in it, I had no problems with matting or tangling or dryness, none of it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and condition this section, move on to the other two sections, and then I'm gonna move on to my hair mask. Okay, can we give it up one time for this hair mask that's actually a hair mask? Hair mask is really supposed to be this thick. Surprisingly, my hair does not smell like oranges, but it does smell fresh and clean. This is what my hair looks like without any product. Most people start at mid shaft with their hair mask or deep conditioner, but I start at the root because I need hydration for my entire strand because I am chemically treated. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and complete the other sections, but as you can see, I work in four sections. Okay, this is what I'm left with. Don't judge me. I had to use it. 
But anyway, I'm gonna put a cap over my head, sit under the dryer for at least 15 minutes and I'll be back. So on the website, it does say to spray your scalp with the ultimate growth spray after you have shampooed and conditioned and used the mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So after I spray my scalp with this, I'm gonna do my braid out and of course, I'm gonna use my regular leave-ins when I do that. I don't really feel anything on my scalp, it just feels like water right now. It's not itchy, it's not tingly. Tingling, it's, it's, I don't feel any of that. While I'm spraying this in, I just want to let you know my hair feels really soft and clean. Anyway, I'm gonna finish the rest of these sections, braid my hair down, and then I will see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm so excited to see what my hair looks like. So I haven't taken my braids out. I haven't put in anything on my hair this morning. This is what it looks like from braiding it down yesterday. So. I wanted you to see my hair. So let me just take this one out. Because I usually add coconut oil on my braids before taking them down. But I want to see what my hair looks like without any additional product. So... This down here feels super moisturized, but my roots, they're extremely soft, but I do feel like I need to add a little coconut oil for additional shine to my root area. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of this out, adding coconut oil. All right, so I think my results came out really cute, nice and fluffy. Um, I didn't lose any hair in taking my braids down. Usually I get a few strands here and there that comes out, but I didn't have anything come out. For the most part, I really love the way my hair feels. It does feel soft. I don't think I got as much shine as I typically do, but I didn't have any damage. My scalp feels so clean. My hair feels so fluffy and lightweight. I feel like even as this braid out gets old throughout the week, I don't feel like it's going to, you know, frizz out on me. But that has yet to be seen. So, they also sent me the Ultimate, Ultimate Growth Serum for your eyebrows and your eyelashes. So, for your eyelashes, it has this little applicator where you're able to get really close to your eyelash line we really about to you know put my mascara on so i'm not i don't want to do that right now but as far as my eyebrows you guys that follow me know i have been trying to get my eyebrows to grow back out so i am going to just apply some this is the struggle brow this is the one that struggles the most especially in this area here i'm really excited to see how the eyebrow serum and the lash serum does for me over time that has yet to be seen but as of right now i did put it on there is no tingling it just feels like i put like a thick water on all in all i really really enjoyed this hair care line i enjoyed using it i'm actually going to try it in my daughter's hair and see what happens because she my daughter has a lot of frizz, but my hair feels so soft and lightweight. If you'd like to try these products as well, I will leave a link in the description box below. Comment down below if you've tried these products already and what was your experience with this product line. And until the next time, guys, be love.